Hey, Bing, Bing. Hashtag drop the top, right? San Francisco, yo, beat that. San Francisco. We are doing the touristy thing today, going around San Francisco in um, some Audis. And these cars are actually not official uh, media car or anything like that. It is actually through the Audi on demand uh, program. And what do we have today? Let's go check it out. So, first up, we have the Q7. This one here is the latest all new S5. This is the S. Q5, very shouty this, I like. RS3, oh, oh, nice. And this one is the handsome looking S5 Cabriolet. Well, you know, weather like this, I think this is, oh wait, I think that's a, I think that's a better car, that's a Ford F430. So we're gonna go around um, San Francisco area. I think we're gonna cross the bridge later on. It's actually pretty cool being here because you always see this in the movies, especially when you were younger, right? And um, it's all get got destroyed by Godzilla or, or dinosaurs and Transformers and, and all those things. Now. And then of the apes also, I think. So it's pretty cool to be here actually. And if you can see over there, that's somewhere there. That's Alcatraz, the prison. Have you guys seen The Rock by Nicolas Cage? I'll show you. Yeah, Alcatraz over there. Because this is a tour group from Malaysia and Singapore and Brunei. And of course, uh, we have a friend from South Africa and... Uh, Jeff, where are you from, Jeff? Sydney, Australia. <laughs> Australia! Yay! Happy last kid. Happy, yay. <laughs> Go to lunch point. That's our tour guide. It's the tour guide from Singapore. Siwing from Carly's Dot Mine. He's our... No, sorry. He's my driver today. For now, a little later, driver change. Uh, check out, check out this one standing right in the middle of the road to take photo. Why yo? I got prop lagi to basikal. So we have stopped by this place called... Um, I have no idea what it's called. Check out all these beautiful cars parked here. Like a ball. And after that, this gentleman over here came over and tell us no, it's, we can't actually park here because it's for valet only. And we Asians thought we are crazy rich and can do anything. <laughs> Moving the cars. Let me just show you guys one thing. Yeah, For a car, this size right for rs3 right check out how big the exhaust is this is the s8 plus Look, it's as wide as the s8 plus look at it for such a small car what are you trying to compensate eh? hmm and it has two of them that's how you park a bike or rather sunbathe your bikes these are hurting That's an exhausting test drive. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us ordered coke. And they come in this bamboo straw. But mine cracked already. <laughs> Cauliflower soup. That tastes like a bit like laksa. You know why? Proper fries. Okay, 
Okay, done with lunch and we're heading off. Now turn right and then keep straight. Okay, woman. Done with lunch and uh, we just got off in this SQ5, which is not in Malaysia. Sorry, guys. It's really very comfortable. It's very comfortable for uh, for S model. It is very comfortable. It's firm, but in, in a nice way. So we are now in a very peculiar traffic light. Okay, if you look in front, it's a tunnel. Okay, and it says there five minute red light. What? Okay, it asks you to stop here on red, turn off the engine. This is like the longest traffic light ever. Ever, ever. Still waiting, still waiting. I think it has been three, four minutes at least. Oh, green! Yay! <laughs> oh, I'm ready. Okay. okay, I'm on dynamic oh, mode. Nice. nice tunnel. tunnel. Let's try this. Yeah, so the reason why it takes five minutes for the traffic light is because the tunnel is very narrow and it's only one lane. So that is why it's a very long tunnel. The weather has been great. I actually went out for a run this morning. Uh, it was a bit cold, a bit foggy. I went out for a run. My mission was to run on Golden Gate Bridge and I did it. But right before I reached, got onto the bridge, my phone died. Okay, the speed limit here is 35 miles per hour. We are doing 31. Because we are good boys. Oh, now this band says 25 mph. Uh, doy. So yeah, while we are driving at 25 miles per hour, 40 kilometers per hour, yeah. on a beautiful road like this. Yeah, so um, we will just go through some facts and figures of the car. Yeah. So this uh, SQ5, um, the engine is a 3 liter V6 together with a 8 speed dual clutch gearbox. It makes 354 horsepower and almost 500 Newton meters of torque. That's very good numbers, yeah. That's nice. 0 to 100 in 5.1 seconds. It's actually very comfortable, this car. It's firm but in a very nice way. We haven't got the chance to drive it, um, you know, in normal way we drive it in Malaysia. We yeah, another thing about driving in the States is that uh, whenever you see a stop sign, even though there's no car, there's no human beings, there's no birds, you need to stop. Just stop. Complete stop. Complete stop. To zero then go. Wow! Speed limit now is 15 miles per hour. <sighs> Guess what we found? Such a nice place! There's so many people out here having their, I don't know, their nice uh, chillax time at the beach. And there's somebody surfing there as well, can you see them? How crazy is that? No, I say crazy because it's actually pretty cold here. The, the temperature is about 16 to... to 14 I think, but in there, I'm pretty sure it's like 6-7 degrees. So the tour group sort of uh, went our own way, so the Malaysian team um, took the SQ5 and the S5 spot back. Now let's have a quick look of this all new S5 spot back. Um, the previous one, I quite like it already, but this one looks even better. Let's check out the different headlight design right now with the new grille. This part here, I quite like that. This tall hammer looking thing looks very familiar, isn't it? So I suppose this the air goes in here to create the air curtain around the wheel to reduce uh, turbulence. I like this badge here as well. It's an S5. Signal indicator on the side mirror. This model has a sunroof. And that, that lines, those lines on the car, look. Look at the silhouette of this car. It flows really nicely, right? The entire design just works. On the boot lid, it gets this uh, ducktail spoiler. The taillight design is very different now as well. And it's got quad exhaust with diffuser. 
So now the Q5, it's still very recognizable as a, as a Q5. Uh, of course, the, the headlight and the grill and, and all that is it's the current design language. We have not seen this before in Malaysia, SQ5 batch. One of the very recognizable part is the rear tail lights. But of course, it's a bit, a bit more angular right now. It's, it's not as curvy as before. This car sounds pretty good, especially when you put it on dynamic mode, right? Now, where is the exhaust? This one here is not the exhaust. Not the exhaust. Now, where the heck is the exhaust? Where the heck? What? What? This huge car has got no exhaust tips. What is this? What is this? Unacceptable. RS3, such a small car, gets such a big exhaust tip, but this car. Yelet. Yelet, yelet. I have no idea what this place is called. Let me just check the map. Okay, this. We are at the Golden Gate National Recreation Area. Okay, now I'll quickly go through with you on what Audi On Demand is all about, right? Audi On Demand is more like a rental car rental company, uh, but Audi calls it premium e-mobility where they want to cover manufacturing and at the same time uh, mobility as well. For those who uh, want to go for the usual classic ownership style, they buy an Audi straight away from the showroom, right? For, but for those who want to just experience the car for a few hours or even a few days, they can by going through this Audi On Demand program. But the major difference is this, if you have done uh, car rental before, as in uh, when you go for holidays and you have rented a car before, you usually will not get the car that you want. So let's say for example, if you want an SUV and you wanted a Audi Q5, but you might not get the Q5 because the, in the terms it says uh, Q5 or any, anything equivalent to it. But for this, it's very different. You want a Q5, you get a Q5. You want the RS7, you get the RS7. So now the unique thing about this is this. They have a concierge service. Basically means they will bring the car to you wherever you are, right? Just go onto the website, book it, and they'll send the car to you. Or you can choose to pick it up from their centers. Most of them are on partnership with dealers. So for example, in Singapore, we started early this year. So which means dealers will own the car. If you choose to pick up the car, you have to go to the dealers to pick up the car. And if you want them to send it to you, they can send it to you as well. And once you're done with the car, with the set preferred confirmed time of pickup, they will come to you and pick it up as well. So, so that's a major difference between uh, normal car rental service and this uh, premium e-mobility style. So this Audi On Demand program or service has been around for some time. Um, they have it in the States, they have it in Singapore, they have it in Hong Kong, Japan, China, um, UK and Germany. So what you need to do uh, when you want a car, right? So just go on to their website, audiondemand.com and pick a car. So for example, the fleet that we have today, let me just show you how much these cars cost, you know, just to give you an idea. SQ5, the one that, that I was driving, $225 a day reasonable isn't it for the entire family and it's fun to drive as well in the states the minimum rental period is one day whereas in singapore it's different in different countries yeah so in singapore it is at least four hours and however many days you want after that s5 sportback 250 dollars a day s5 cabriolet a bit of style a bit of wind in the hair 270 dollars per day q7 295 dollars a day rs3 300 dollars a day i suppose it is quite reasonable it's quite reasonable especially when they actually send the car to you and they pick it up from you again if you happen to visit the countries that i just mentioned earlier like china hong kong japan germany uk uh, singapore you can try it out audio on demand rent the car for a day and enjoy your holiday is it coming to malaysia though well no idea maybe maybe it's actually quite a perfect service you know for for when you like, visit countries like this and you just want to hop onto a car and just go around and get lost you know the best things happen when you get lost during a holiday right okay let's continue our journey oh, check out the wave okay now I'm done with the beach so we're heading back to the restaurant we have swap cars might look a bit similar uh, in fact the uh, Engine is engine, the engine output, the gearbox, everything is similar to the SQ5. But because it is a much lighter car, it 
goes from 0 to 100 in just 4.5 seconds. The SQ5 has uh, air suspension, this one doesn't. It is still as comfortable. We haven't been able to drive a bit more spiritedly. And it's a lovely the... weather to drive as well. But at this speed, I think we just might as well just go home, right? But we still love you, America. <laughs> we want to come back again. <laughs> Where's the prop prop? Look at all the suspension. It's not too bad, yeah. right? S5 Cabriolet. I'm gonna cross the Golden Gate Bridge. Of course, you have to do it in a Cabriolet, right? Now, how do I put the roof down? Let's do this. Oh. Voila! Let's go! trying to rush out from the, the city because there's a Godzilla coming yeah it's a scene like that look hey Bing Bing hashtag drop the top right San Francisco yo beat that jangan marah kacau je kacau je jangan marah okay country, nice weather, get a soft top and just enjoy the sun. 